everyone and welcome back to my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I haven't done one in a while because I haven't been in a while, but this is what I have. It's kind of a big haul, but um, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're going to start with the school supplies that I got. Um, first, I got Band-Aids, Minion Band-Aids, and there's 30, no, 20 in a package, sorry. 20 in a package, and my son needed Band-Aids for school supplies, so I got those. Um, he also needed tissues, so I got this little tissue box, and it comes with 85 in a box. Okay, next, he needed dry erase board supplies, so I got him three of the dry erase markers, and it's ink brand. And then I also got the eraser, <clears throat> excuse me, to go with it. Okay, then they needed sticky notes. I picked up some of those, 250 in here, and there's different colors. Okay, then he needed some eraser caps. There's 40 in this box, so for a dollar, and it's Jot Brand. That's an awesome deal. Okay, and then he needed some glue sticks. So there's three in a pack here, and this is Rose Art Brand. You can see that. Okay, and then I thought this was awesome because um, I know when I was growing up scientific calculators were kind of expensive and um, my 11 year old is going into the sixth grade this year I'm not sure if he'll need these but I went ahead and stocked up because you can't beat this and we have opened one and we have tried it and they're awesome um, but it is a scientific calculator and it has a flip cover and if you can see that, it has all the little options on there. And for a dollar, I stocked up because, you know, sometimes kids go to school and they lose things and stuff like that. So I'd hate to pay 20, 30, 40 bucks for a scientific calculator and him lose it. So I stocked up on those. And then they need index cards. And I thought this was pretty cool because it has the ring on it and it has this little thing on it. And you just turn it. Index cards. That way you don't lose them. They're all right there. So I thought that was awesome for them. I got two of those. Okay, then um, my eight-year-old also needed disinfectant wipes. Um, I did buy this Lysol, which is a smaller pack because there's 15 in there. But I bought two of those, and I figured with all the other kids that have to buy them, that'll work. And then I bought three packs of their highlighters, purple, pink, orange, and yellow, and it is Pro Max, that's the brand, um, and I figured it's better than going to Walmart and spending two, three dollars on highlighters, so we picked up <clears throat> these from Dollar Tree, <coughs> excuse me, and then um, we got these glue pens. Um, I got these for my eight-year-old. He's in third grade. Um, it, he needed glue, um, sticks, and I figured he can try these. I did buy the glue sticks, as you've seen before, just in case they don't like these. But I figured we'd give him a try. It is Elmer brand, so I'm hoping it works just as well as any of the others. It should. Okay, moving on. Um, we just got a new puppy. I think you can see him a little bit back there. Okay, so we stocked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, I did already take the snacks out of there, but the little T-bone steaks I bought, there's some on the bottom, and then I also bought, if you can see in here, <clears throat> I bought these little, <clears throat> excuse me, denty sticks for him. There was five in a pack, and I opened it, and I got a bonus because I got one for free. And then, of course, the little container for his treats to go in was from the Dollar Tree as well. Here, Rocco. Want a treat? Okay, and then they had this big old can. It is 22 ounces of chopped ground dinner with chicken, and it's Pedigree brand. Um, he is still a puppy. I know it's for an older dog, but I figure I'll take some of this and, um, mix it up in his dry dog food. And that'll last us quite a while. I did get in Walmart, because I didn't see any Dollar Tree, but Walmart has these things, um, like a cover that'll snap onto the top so you don't 
waste this food. So that's awesome at Dollar Tree because when I went in Walmart, I did find some pedigree puppy wet dog food and it was a smaller can. It was 74 cents. And these ones, the bigger ones, were over a dollar. They were like a dollar twenty-four. So I went ahead and got this one at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna give that a try. And I forgot to show this in the school supplies. He needed hand sanitizer. So I went ahead and picked up this. There's 10 ounces in there. But to me, it's the same as the name brand. So I got that for his school supplies. Going back to the doggy supplies. We picked up this little doggy bag um, container for his poop. Um, he does go to the bathroom outside. He's in the process of being house trained. And um, instead of leaving his little surprises on the ground outside we um picked up a kitty litter scoop from the dollar tree which is outside because we've already used it so we can scoop up his poop and put it in these bags and then we tie it up and put it in the garbage that way we don't go outside and step in his doo-doo and they had the refills i think there was 80 bags in a in a container and in, in one bag from the dollar tree and we had went to pet I think it was PetSmart afterwards, and it was a whole lot more expensive. So I said, I, I think I stick with the bags from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then we also picked him up. How cute is this? A little shirt, and it says "Will behave for treats," and it's very small. And he's a puppy. He is a bulldog, so of course he's going to get bigger. But right now he's six weeks old. And this, I think, will fit him perfect. If not, it'll be a little big. But the kids thought that was cute, and they wanted it for him. And then next, I thought these were pretty awesome. It does say it's made in the USA. And as you can see, it's natural value, 100% all-natural treats, sweet potato crispies. So it's kind of like chips for doggies. So we're going to give those a try. Hopefully he loves them. And it doesn't expire until January of 2018. Okay, and then we got him some little toys. Got him this little, I don't know what it is. Maybe a little mouse, raccoon, I don't know. And it's got a little squeaky in it. And he's already been playing with it. Okay, then we picked up this little bone for him. Um, that Because it's just the right size for his little mouth. And it has a little squeaker in it, too. And then, he's a spoiled little puppy. We got him a guitar with a rope on it for him to play with. It doesn't have a squeaker. I don't know if it's supposed to. I mean, you could hear it's a little tiny. But for him to chew on it, I don't care if it has a squeaker. He loves it. And then, we got him some little tennis balls. There was a two-pack, but we've already opened it and gave him one. But... He was trying to play the boys' ball, so we got him a little tennis ball. And then I think the last thing I got for him right now from the Dollar Tree were these little puppy pads. And as I said before, he's in the process of being um, house trained. Um, I haven't used these except for one. Um, the other night he slept in the boys' room, and I laid it down just in case he had to go to the bathroom overnight. But he's been doing very good, um, which is surprising to me. But I love it that he is, he cries when he has to go outside. So he's only used one of these one time. He peed on it one time. That was it. But I figured instead of going and buying, it has instructions in the back how to train your, your puppy. But um, I, I figured instead of going to, the, to Walmart and buying a big package for, what is it, 10, 20 bucks, I'd just try the Dollar Tree brand to see if they work, to see if he would use them. And I'm kind of glad I didn't buy them from Walmart because... I haven't been using them. He's been so good. He's been going outside. So I got that. Okay, and next, I guess we'll go to food. Um, as I was going to leave my Dollar Tree, the bread people showed up to drop off some bread. So I went and looked, and I found this Italian style bread, just regular bread. But it's for for a dollar. I, I know it was more for at that for Walmart, but. It doesn't expire until the 19th, which is a couple days, but my husband takes sandwiches to work every day, and my oldest son loves sandwiches, so it'll be gone before then. And then, of course, my kids are crazy for croutons. This is the Ruth Berry um, brand, and it's Texas Toast. 
And these things are huge, but they love these things. I got two bags, but the other bag is already open and almost gone. And then I got my oldest son. He wanted these little dippers. Um, it's just the regular, I don't know, like breadstick type things with cheese. And there is two, four, five in here. But for a little snack, you know, awesome. And then they picked up these Jolly Rancher candies, the hard candy. And I think that's all the food. <clears throat> and then when, as I was leaving, you know, Dollar Tree has these little brushes that you can keep in your in your purse. Look, you can see Rocco in the background playing his little guitar. Anyways, they have these in there. And I guess since someone had opened this, and I don't know if it really comes with a back cover or not, but it was for 50 cents. So I went ahead and picked it up because, you know, I throw my purse. I could use it. I usually have my niece with me a lot of times. She can use it. So, hey, 50 cents picked it up. Okay, trying to stay with the cosmetics. I picked up this foot file to try it. <clears throat> Sorry. It does say it's stainless steel and this does come off, I guess, to pick up the shavings. Um, I did try it out last night. Um, my husband, he works in construction and from him wearing his boots all the time, he gets these, I don't know if they're corns, calluses, whatnot, but I've tried to use this on him and it, it is okay it worked a little bit and then I also got the foot file to try on his feet and um, let's see oops everything's falling over sorry okay and to go back to cosmetics I picked up some tweezers I did pick up two packages of these but I can't find the other one right now but I picked up two of those and then I picked up toenail clippers. And then my son, he, my three-year-old, he's obsessed with toothbrushes lately. But he picked up this Angry Bird little pack. And it's got a little pouch. Like if they go to the night at somebody's house, they have it. And it has the little toothbrush in it. Angry Birds. And then it has this little cover to put on your toothbrush when you put it in the package. So I figured that'd be cute when he goes to stay somewhere for the night. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. We picked up these pain relief tablets. There's 15 in a bottle. Um, when my nephew was with me, um, no, actually my niece, she was having some cramps. So we picked this up and gave it a try. And from what I can tell, it worked perfect on her. She didn't complain anymore about her stomach hurting. Um... Next, I guess I'll just show you these. I got the Fly Ribbon, and it's Raid brand, so it is a name brand. There's four in a package, but I got it for the porch. Um, we have a little patio. And um, when it's hot like this, outside, we get tons of flies. Then we open the front door, and we have flies flying in the house. So I got this to try it to, make, to see if we can get some of the flies out of the porch. Okay, and then um, air fresheners. These air fresheners work amazing. I've had mine in my truck for maybe a little over a month, and then you could still smell the vanilla, which the vanilla is my favorite, but they only had the clean breeze this time. But I picked up three of them because it still smells just as good. Ugh, it smells good. But I have it in my husband's truck now, and it smells good. Okay, and then... Um, just regular Panasonic batteries. There's a four pack in here. I got it for the kids Xbox remote X Xbox remote. And then my boys have gotten into collecting, I guess they're considered cards. I don't know if they're considered cards, but they are stickers. But it's like baseball soccer cards. And this is just a little packet of uh, soccer stickers and they have the book in Dollar Tree as well, which I don't have that here. I don't know where they did it with it. And like I said, they're not here. I don't know if I said that or not, but they're not here right now. And I got two packets of those. There's seven in a packet. And they just take the stickers and match it up with a number and put it in the book. And my eight-year-old, he's doing basketball. He's in love with basketball right now. And this is the NBA sticker collection 2015-16. And there's seven cards in a pack as well. Okay, and then of course... 
my three-year-old wanted something, and he found this. How adorable is this? Little Mickey Mouse journal book. And he's already drew in it. His little artistic hand. Let's see what else he did in here. Oh, there's another page in here that he did. Oh. How cute. It's just a little book, and for him to draw in to pass the time when we go somewhere. Um, and he picked up these little matchbox cars. There's that one, and then there's this one. Okay, and then just a regular water bottle. Um, right now our puppy's too young to put any kind of flea medicine on, which I'm not sure if I will even use flea medicine on him. Um, but when we first got him, he did have fleas. We used Dawn dish soap on him, and then um, we made this home uh, remedy, which is um, apple cider vinegar, a tea bag, water, and a little bit of alcohol. You put it in here, mix it up, and then you just spray it on him. And it, it tends, I guess the fleas don't like the taste of the vinegar, so they don't like to bite the dog. I don't know, but it works. So we got the spray bottle for that. Okay, and then my eight-year-old, he loves to read, and we found this book. It's an, um, what does it say? An Accidental Adventure. And I don't know if it says how much it retails for. Probably not. It's just a kid's book, but it's a chapter book. And he loves chapter books. He's in the third grade, and he loves chapter books. He loves to read them. Now, it doesn't really say, I don't think, how much it retails for. Nope. Actually, it does. Hold on. See if I can get this sticker off the back. Nope, it won't let me. But anyways, it's a pretty decent sized book for him. For a dollar, he wanted out, so why not? Just a dollar. He can read it. And then, see? There's the other tweezers. I knew I had two. Okay, and we're getting down to the end. Um, my kids have not seen Finding Dory yet. But my three-year-old wanted to have the coloring book, so I picked that up for him. And then last but not least, look what I found in the Dollar Tree. It is, sorry about the glare, I can't really. It's a Win Cleaner, and it's for your computer. If you can see, it's a little flash drive type thing. It says Windows PC, and instead of buying it, I think it like, it's like a virus protector or whatever. It cleans your... Um, computer and it says unlimited use on one computer for one year on the bottom there sorry for the glare I can't help it and then on the back it tells you what you can use it on and how to use it and I did we were in the mall when I went to this Dollar Tree and I did go to the As Seen on TV store and I seen this thing and I know it was over ten dollars but I figured you know I have two computers I have a laptop and I have a desktop and I figured we can give this a try it's only a dollar it's cheaper than anything else that I buy like the Norton or anything like that so we're gonna give it a try and maybe I'll do a review video or something I'm not sure but we're gonna give this a try and try on the computer okay and that is the last of my Dollar Tree haul I hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you